Maybe you've made some color gradients that look like this, or this, or this, but something about these look a little bit dull, a little dated, and not very vibrant. Well, in order to fix this and make the most buttery smooth, perfectly colorful gradients every time, you only need to know about one thing, and that's called the transfer color. So in Figma, I have a simple landing page design like this. And if we isolate the gradient, we'll see here that it looks pretty harsh. If we open up this fill, and we look at our linear gradient, we'll see that we have one stop here with our brand color and then another stop at the end that goes to solid black. The reason it looks this way is there is a very harsh color ramp that goes from our blue to our black. And so we need to do two things. One, we're gonna add a third stop and that's gonna happen right in the middle. So we can hover right over our gradient here and then click to add another stop right in the middle. And then when we select this, what we wanna do is grab our color picker and actually bring it right to the middle of this stop, right where it is. And then we wanna do two things. We wanna switch our color model from hex to HSB, and then we wanna raise the brightness of that middle stop. And you can see it's already starting to look quite a bit brighter. And then what we're gonna do is select our last stop and we're gonna raise the brightness of this about 20 points. And so what that's doing is it's tinting all of these colors with our primary color and it's just increasing the vibrancy of it. And so we end up with something that still has the same vibe but it's a little softer. So I'm gonna click on this and hover right next to it until it highlights and then I'm gonna click Command C to copy this and then I'm gonna paste that gradient right here. So now we can see the difference. You see how that's just a bit more vibrant, less dull, some of that grayness is gone, but it still has the same look. So we have a starting color, we have our transfer color, and we've got our end color. So let's try this with two totally different colors. So instead of going from our brand or primary color to black or white, we're going to go from one color, which let's say we're gonna do pink, to green. So again, you can see here that this is quite dull. There's this grayness in the middle and it doesn't look very vibrant. So we're going to isolate this and then we're gonna use a similar technique. So we're gonna open up our gradient. We're going to add a stop right in the middle. And this time we're gonna take our color picker and just drag it into this middle area, right around where that color stop is. And it's gonna give us this pink color. Now, again, it's the same color that's here, but what we wanna do now that we're in this area is we wanna switch back over to HSB and then just drag the brightness up again. So maybe about 20 points is good. The other thing you can do is if you're still noticing some of that grayness, you also want to increase the saturation of that color. And so already it's starting to look a little bit better and you can keep doing this with the other stop. So you can click on that last stop and you can increase that brightness just a little bit so that it blends, always using like 10 to 20 point increments. And so the other way that we can improve this even more is instead of adding a different tone to that middle stop, we can also do some color shifting. So by selecting that middle stop again, this time we're gonna click on the hue slider in our HSB color model, and we're gonna shift that around just a little bit. So you can see here, as we go into purple or we go into a little bit more red and orange, we're adding another color, which is making it even more vibrant, a little bit more colorful, and that's a way that we can add in a third color. Now, when you start adding more than two colors and you're going into three and four, you wanna think about classic color theory color formulas. And you also want to think about using my color families that corresponds to this HSB model because it makes it very easy to make those colors look really wonderful. If I open this one again, we can now say that we like this pink. And if we want our end color, to be blue perhaps, what we're gonna do is select this pink, switch over to hex, and we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna paste that hex on all of the stops so that it's all one color. Then from there, we're gonna select the second one and switch back over to HSB, and then we're just going to hue shift. So we're not going to change the saturation or brightness of that color. We're just gonna shift the hue down to wherever we want it to go. So let's say that I wanna to go to purple here, and then I wanna select the next one, and I wanna make sure it's on HSB, and I wanna color shift all the way down to 
something like teal. So now it's looking really glowy and smooth and we can just keep doing that. All we have to do is shift this color. That's extra smooth because the middle stop is much closer on the spectrum to that last stop and it's just looking a lot smoother. So what we end up with here is a starting color with this hex, a transfer color, and an end color. So now we can also do this with radial gradients or any other type of gradient. Same thing applies, just select radial. And then I like to really spread this out a bit so that it has more of a spotlight shine to it rather than just like a perfect circle with rings. And so I'll stretch that out quite a bit. Same thing applies. This one looks pretty cool. I could maybe change this switch this back to HSB and just color shift this hue around like that. Select the other one, do the same thing. We can color shift into a deeper blue and over here, maybe I will go into a purple color and maybe I wanna switch these two stops. We can do that too. We can just drag these around like that if we want to and then we can lower the, we can shift that hue into purple or something like that. But really adding that transfer color helps you play with that gray area and switching to HSB makes it so much easier to precisely control either the brightness or the saturation or the hue so that you're not guessing and just randomly selecting colors. You can actually use math and you can use my HSB color formulas for the exact numbers for these different color families so that they always look really beautiful together.